Okay. Hi, my name is Carlos. Um, geez. Okay, my name is Carlos. Sorry, my mouse. I'm not sure why is it, why it isn't working, but you know, it's okay. So I did. Okay, so just um, just start off. I had read this about up to here, yeah, about five days ago, and I yesterday I just finished this project. My first day was maybe about three or four days ago, and I had done up to nine. Second day, I realized it was really easy, I was just in my own head got to about 27 and just yesterday I decided to sit down and do the rest and I thought you know it's pretty easy so far I think I only needed to reference other work like once or twice um, it's pretty straightforward I think I like it so far I'll learn CSS this course or this, yeah. Anyways, I looked at this roadmap. I had seen someone link on a Reddit post. Mm hmm. I said to learn these two first. So I'm pretty much just working my way down from, uh, well, from this curriculum and I'm going to be posting my little study sessions out once a day on my channel I wish I could have gotten this one but this idea just popped in my head yesterday after I finished all right, let's get started. CSS tells the browser how to display your web page. You can use CSS to set the color, font, and size, and other aspects of HTML elements. In this course, you'll learn CSS by designing a menu page for a cafe web page. Okay. Here's a preview of what you'll build. That's all. Okay, start coding. I forgot how many steps it was. Honestly, I just I've just been following the steps. I'm not even sure if it's aptitude really, because it seems really easy to me. It's just like following along with uh, some stuff like that. For example, this. No, oh. I'm on a Chromebook. I apologize for her. Uh, you know, if it looks weird. Or if I'm slow. <laughs> An HTML element with a lang attribute. Oh. Whoops. Okay, so I think this is wrong because that doesn't really show up. I'm not going to edit anything, you know. If I don't really know how to do it, then I'll figure it out. Wow. Oh.
again. <laughs> I just started like two days ago. Submit and go to next. Add a head element. Today I'm thinking of just going until. Um, well, I'd like to get through the entire thing in one sitting, but I'm not sure. We'll see. Add a head element. within the HTML element, so you can add a title element. Guys, I know I sound like an. I feel like I sound old, but I'm just talking quietly. Oh. is one of several elements that provide extra information not visible on the web page but is useful for search engines or how the page gets displayed um, inside I don't want to just follow instructions so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read this part again Okay, it says inside the head elements, so I'm going to do this. Meet meta with a char set of oh, always I don't always forget that. I swear, I don't always forget that. I don't even want to check the progress. I just want to keep going. To prepare some actual content, add a body element below the head element. Hey, it might be a bit early to be saying this, but you know, if you know anyone looking for, and I mean this in like the worst way possible towards myself and only myself, but if you need like a monkey to do the most simplest coding job or something you can teach even a monkey, I know there's AI, but like, you know, if you if you have someone like that, I'll work for free on the side, for now. For now, you know, anything a monkey you can teach a monkey. If I can, I mean this obviously, but like get copilot or something. I feel like it can do what I can do. But you know, hook me up with a job. Unless you are looking for jobs too. <laughs> Okay, to prepare, to create some actual content, add a body. Jeez, I 
keep forgetting that. Okay. Oh, below the head of him. Oh, whoops. Oop. Mm. So it's weird about this. Well, I don't know how much, honestly, I took this uh, course in, jeez, you guys don't want to hear about it, never mind, never mind. Add a main element within the existing body element, it will eventually contain pricing information about coffee and desserts offered by the cafe. Okay. The name of the camper is Oh the psh. Jeez. Within the okay. Today I'm just gonna keep going until about eight o'clock. Right now it is six fifty. Mm. Camper Kaffer. Yeah. <laughs> That's my fault. Let the visitors know the cafe it was founded in 2020. Okay. Okay. Add a P element below the H1. I know I'm terrible at this. I don't care. You know, practice makes perfect. Jeez. Louise. I don't know why my, mm, my mouse stopped working the moment I started recording is whatever I swear I'm more professional than, than this but I'm just at home doing this you know Closing tag. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Let's see how far we can go within an hour. I am having some distractions, full disclosure. Gosh, I want like a cup of tea or something right now. Let's make it smart for you. There will be two sections on the menu, one for coffees and one for desserts. Add a section element within the main element. Okay. So far so good.
now it doesn't say to add a um or to like nest oh, yeah. yes mom when you make the meat how do you make it i don't know mom what do you garlic salt and pepper and salt garlic salt and pepper that's all that's it and butter and you put it in your pan in the cast iron yeah yes mom oops <laughs> I live with my parents. <laughs> I'm gonna yell. I don't care. I don't care if you're watching. I do care. I'm sorry. Mom! What, were you, what are you making the steaks for? I'm making steaks. Tonight? Or what are you making it for? For dad? For dad. Oh, okay. Why? I was just asking. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> Back to. Yes. Put some water and use the metal scrubber. Oops. <laughs> I'm not sorry. Sorry. Well, yeah. Well, I guess you can count me out for remote work. I don't have a quiet place to live quite yet. I'll be moving out in like a couple weeks. Maybe two or three. You can add any, you can add a style to the element by specifying it in style element. Setting a property for it like this. Hmm. I'm not sure what this is supposed to be. Center your H1 element by setting its text align property to the center. Property to the value center. Okay, okay. It's saying <laughs> I'm not exactly sure what this is. So, So would I do that up here, or do I do it in the style? Within the style. I guess I do it within the style, huh?
Yes. Man, it gets annoying not using a mouse. Okay, I know this is wrong, but... Oh, H1 selector. Add any stuff to the mouse and get a pro and setting a property for it like this. It's there. <laughs> okay, sorry. Um, H one. If it's within the style, should I just... No, mom. Why does it do that? Okay, this is a time where I have to go because I seriously do not understand what the... I don't understand this. I don't. Until I see it. Because it's like the first time I've. Jeez, my stomach. Okay, this is the first time I've seen it. I've seen this syntax. So. It's confusing me just because it's like this. I'm not exactly sure. So this time I'll have to go to. Um, I'll just go here. I was on GitHub because it said to create one. Like about networking. Um, what is this? Cafe menu step. I'm gonna go my phone. Oh my gosh. I'm a lot. I know it's a terrible skill, but I'm. You know, yeah, it's better just down here. Step eleven. Cafe menu. Hey, hey, please. I don't know if it's. Yes. I don't know, mom. I don't know. I don't know where it is. I'm sorry. I, yes, we do. I don't know where it is. I don't have a fancy roller chair and I live in my mom's house. I am losing. Okay, so I understand it now. To an element, the element being. Okay, see, now I understand what it means. Weird, but okay.
I'm assuming I'm doing the same for these. Looking at the preview from before. Yeah, I think you guys can do exactly what I'm doing without having to watch these videos, but this is more for like an accountability thing on my part. If I see someone pooping on my work, you know, I don't really care. If they say give up, I don't really care. Gosh, I wish this mouse worked. Okay. In the previous step, you used a type selector to style the H1 elements of the limits of the H2 MP elements by adding a new type selector. So what I'm thinking of doing Nope Doing some cheating Buddy, buddy, buddy I'm about to You have three type selectors with the exact same styling. You can add the same group of styles to many elements by creating a list of selectors. Great, that way it doesn't look so long. Yeah. It did exactly what I thought of before it even happened. I'm not sure why my phone's going off, it never goes off. <laughs> I'm reading a Reddit post, just now learning programming, are you supposed to remember all of this? I'm taking the CS50 course and it started off all good. I ended up knowing most of the syntax and doing some code problems and solving made up problems by myself, okay? Then they started talking about running a double for a loop inside of a for loop. That's when they lost me. Memorize basically everything else in your nostril. I don't really know a great amount of it. But is the entire point of programming to memorize everything or am I overthinking and learning wrong? Yeah, I like the first one. He said, you don't memorize it. You learn the concepts and understand where to look up the details. 90% of programming is knowing where to look up stuff you want to do. Learning what to look for is the trick. Mm. All right, so yesterday, I think I put in my code was wrong. I think I put I missed like one letter yesterday and I did not see it. So I just copied where it was wrong, where I knew it was wrong. Of course, it's not going to happen in the real, um, the real world, you know. You have to copy the whole dang thing, but I copied it and put it in chat GPT, you know, so I, I basically just told it to fix it, and it did. And it even explained on the bottom I was missing like one thing, like one letter. I think it was, I forgot, something from the cat menu or the cat uh, app, photo app. I don't know if you can hear that. You can hear like my mom cooking. I, I don't even need acoustics. Like for real, I don't because I'm leaving this room like in two weeks, maybe. But still, it gets annoying.
right, you've styled, sorry, sorry. You've styled elements by writing CSS. I honestly forgot what CSS stands for. It's like, um, yeah, I don't ask. Style sheets, something with the C. I forgot. <laughs> okay, so this you have styled three elements by writing CSS inside the style tags. This works, but since there will be many more styles. It's best to put all styles in a separate file and link to it. Oh, okay. We've created a separate style. Oof, my stomach. I had Panda Express earlier. Shout out. Give me sponsorship, please. Job. Oh my gosh. Okay, anyways. Um, created a separate file for you and switch the editor view to that file you can switch between files within the tabs at the top of the editor start by rewriting the styles you have created into the style style file make sure you exclude opening and closing tags mm, not exactly not exactly sure what it's asking of me Rewriting the styles created into style CSS. Okay, so wait. So like, should put What was it? Text align Okay. Now that you have style CSS and file go ahead and remove this style and all those contents once it's removed that was centered Oof. okay what is it asking of me Now you need to link style CSS files to the styles will be applied again. Nest a self-closing link element in the head element. Okay. Give it a rel attribute. Value of
Oh, styles. Whoops. See, I'm always missing something. For the styling of the page to look similar on mobile as it does on desktop, you need to add a meta element with a special content attribute at the following within the head element. What name? Cap Cap? Oh wow, that's a lot of, a lot of nothing. Okay, uh, initial scale. Okay, so that's how you'd make it applicable for apps. I see a lot of websites sometimes where it's all messed up because I guess they don't have that single thing. I'm not even getting on my phone because I'm on my phone a lot more than I am on a uh, computer, which I, I need to change, you know? I need to change that. I apologize, getting distracted. Text is centered again, so the link to the CSS file is working. Add another style. Okay, so we're gonna do this. Put in body. And then move all other elements inside the new div element. So what I'm...
could be wrong about this. Oh wait, I'm right. I have no idea what my mom's playing in the background. I really, really hope you guys can't hear it. You can use the ID selector to target a specific element with an ID attribute. An ID selector is defined by placing the hash symbol directly in front of the element's ID value. For example, if an element has an ID of cat, then you will target elements like this. Hmm. Okay. No, don't do that. Okay. Okay, so this tag makes it target something. And how much? 300? My back. Nope, nope. Mm -mm. In your kind style, she comments out a line containing the background color. So is it saying like. Now use the menu selector to set the background color of the div element to be to burly, to be burly wood. Yeah, I'd agree. And pixels, change the width properties value to be set to 80% to make 80% the width of its parent body. <sighs> Dang. Um, yawn. 
uh, change the wood's property value to be 80% to make it 80% of to make it 80% the width of its parent element body. Oh. I believe I was overthinking it. Yeah. I forgot it's like 91 steps in this one. Not not crazy. I think we can get to like 45 by today. Halfway through. Uh, next you want to center the menu horizontally. You can do this by setting its margin left and margin right properties to auto. Think of margin as invisible spaces around. Mm, so we're just, this is fairly easy. We're just doing some Oh wait. Now I feel like this is wrong. Oh, because I'm not. So far you've been using type and ID selectors to style elements, however the, it is more common to use a different selector to style your elements. It's more common to use a different selector? Class selector is defined by a name with a dot directly in front of it like this. Hum, 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 hum. I hear you, but I think if I just, yeah, I'm, I'm a, uh, yeah. I'm kind of, kind of dumb dumb hurt.
under the coffee heading. an expression. That's all, that's, all, that's all I swear. Ow. I don't know if you heard that. Oh, my elbow. Just a moment. watch it make me write all this and then I'm gonna have to delete everything because there's some big overarching lesson on uh, some style
Hmm. Well, the first one passed, so I'm not sure why this one isn't. Macchiadio. <laughs> that may have been it. So we'll try this. This is what I spelled hazel wrong. If, oh, my stomach. If you caught that before me. I've already forgotten how much this was. Help. Oh.
Okay, well, I'm not quite getting this. Starting below the existing coffee pair, add the following coffee and prices using article elements with two nested. All that. Guys, I was stuck on that one for, I have no idea how long. It confused me. I hated it. Anyways, the flavors and prices are currently stacked on top of each other and should be what they were, it would be nice. Yeah, 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 yeah.
Okay, the class concept I have not gotten down. So this is step 32. Step 32, cafe menu. Oh. Thank you for listening to me. Class flavor. So it's not name. I just put class name for some reason. Let me watch the whole thing. Why don't I? No. Oh. I'm not the brightest. Using your new flavor class selector as to the align. Use your new flavor class selector. So we put flavor I don't rely on, I don't want to rely on that too much. Let's figure it out by looking back. Oh, it's a class selector.
that is the kind of you want to put them. Be nice if the flavor and price were on the same line. P elements are block level elements, so they take up the entire width of the parent element. To get them on the same line, you need to apply some styling to that P elements, so they behave more like inline elements. To do that, by start by adding a class attribute with the value item to the first article element to the coffee heading. So it's I'm so silly. Oh yeah, by the way, I'm 21. I work at Amazon, which is so much fun. Studying computer pro computer programming at a um, local college. 
And yeah, I just, I need this to work out. It's something I want to do, something I like to do actually, as boring as it is. I like the problem solving, it's very, I don't know, I like work, I like doing it. Oh, well, that did not work, starting with P elements is inline blocks. Step 40. Kind of, sort of halfway. I'll be doing a little more tomorrow. There's still a little space on the, t on the right. Yeah, I see that. Use the backspace on your keyboard to move the P element. Oh. What the f I have no idea what I just did. Uh, I'm confused. I, I just hit backspace and it went crazy. Yeah, I know it didn't pass. But I'm not sure what just happened exactly. That was it? <laughs> um, I guess I'm, if that's what they're looking for. All right, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Later, let me do that. We'll start in forty one tomorrow. All right.